Hi everyone and welcome back to next episode of Seagull Garage. Today we are working on 2015 Mitsubishi Pajero customer complainers that ABS light is on, active stability control, off light is on and active stability control lamp is also permanently on. So let's get diagnosis Pajero together. So there you have it, we are starting as always with confirming the customer complaint. A customer tells us he was in different workshop before, they make a scan of the computer, they see some calm communication problem and they offer him an oscilloscope diagnosis as the next step for something around 80 euros. So he decided to uh, take a second opinion and there we go. So let's have a look. Yeah, so I would say the customer complaint is confirmed. We have all three lights on. Let's go to the computer and scan the computer for the faults. So we are going to read now the faulty codes from the ABS. So we have re rear left sensor open. So there is something wrong with the sensor or somewhere along the line the cable is broken. And we are going to check it. But just to confirm and show you how this device diagnoses these things. Like if you go here, you can actually have a look on every sensor you have. So you have a front left right rear left right and quite a few other options and while driving you will see the different values of every wheel so as you see uh, we have a short drive uh, the rear left wheel is not indicating any speed so we will leave the car get the wheel off and go for the low hanging fruit first. So we will just check the sensor according to the mm, car manufacturer manual. And yeah, we will go from there. Uh, so there you have it, I have a wheel off and uh, I will now try to measure with you uh, resistance of the sensor, which is still on the car. And then we'll see how, what we get. We should have between one and one and a half kilo ohm of resistance on the sensor. Let's have a look what we will get. I'll just double check it. It's very... Yep, you see? There is no reading. There is reading. So something is broken in the sensor. So, let's compare it to the known good sensor, which I have, and let's measure this one. There you have it, 1.2, almost perfectly in between one and one and a half. So that would indicate that the sensor is uh, bad. We could connect uh, oscilloscope to it. But I have no oscilloscope, so we will skip that one. We are going to swap the sensor. I will go. You will subscribe and like if you want. If you don't, don't. And then we see us in the second. Yes, so folks, that, that was it. We swapped the sensor from the left rear uh, wheel. It was not easy. The bolt snapped and we need to drill it out and all that. I will show you in a second how it looks on the dash. We are starting the car. We don't really need to start it. You see, the car is happy, the car is happy, that's it, we have it fixed. So that was uh, quite a simple one, it was just a sensor which goes bad. Everything works like a charm, all lights are gone, we are happy, car is happy, we save some money, perfect. This episode was a kind of a tribute to the Dan from Diagnos Dan. I will link his channel down below. I'm totally fascinating with the way he's working. Thank you Dan for your work and I think you are doing great and sharing the whole knowledge. Uh, thank you for the email exchange we have. I hope you find it entertaining. I will not 
repeat this or not in the close future maybe at some point i don't know we'll see how it works so anyway take care and have a good day it's very uh, successful or oh, it's harder than it looks like some some trouble oh, ah. control off light is on oh.